Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the St. Francis Hospital Cardiac Imaging Lecture Series. You are often asked to find out the location of mitral regurgitation pathology, either for the surgeon in the operating room or the interventionist doing a mitral clip. And this video will cover how you can quickly and easily identify the area of pathology in less than a minute. So being able to figure out where the mitral regurgitant pathology is, is literally in the palm of your hand. And this is a schematic of a closed fisted hand with the left atrium being where the thumb is and the anterior posterior leaflet where the fingers are. Here, the light blue represents the anterior mitral leaflet, which looks like a tongue. And the dark blue represents the posterior mitral leaflet, which is crescent shaped. This is typically what we call the surgeon's view that is seen in the operating room. And we can use this view to communicate with the surgeon or the interventional cardiologist as to where the pathology is located. On this side, closest to the left atrial appendage, we have our A1 segment of the anterior leaflet and P1 segment of the posterior. In the middle, we have our A2 segment and our corresponding P2 segment. And further immediately, we have A3 and P3. A way to be able to memorize this is, th is that our left atrial appendage is the most lateral aspect and the mnemonic is love, one, two, three, monkeys. So the love represents the most lateral aspect of the mitral annulus, which is in the region of left atrial appendage. The one represents A1, P1 coaptation. The two represents A2, P2 coaptation. And the three represents A3, P3 coaptation. And M stands for the most medial part of the annulus. Here we have a live 3D view of the mitral valve. And as we can see here, we have the aortic valve on top, and this is our surgeon's view. Over here, we have the lateral most aspect of the annulus, and here we have our left atrial appendage, followed by A1, P1, A2, P2, A3, P3. Then when we add color Doppler, we can see where the pathology is located. This looks like it's a centralized pathology. It looks like the area of cooptation is quite long. Now, in addition to 3D, there are other ways of determining where the mitral pathology is, either as a primary or secondary method. One method is by obtaining the intercommissural view. With the intercommissural view, in a way, things are flipped when compared to the live 3D mitral view. The left atrial appendage view is to our right, making this the most lateral aspect of the mitral valve annulus. This furthermore would make this leaflet P1 with the middle of our view representing leaflet A2 followed by leaflet P3, which is on the most medial aspect of our annulus. Let's take a look at the schematic and see if this makes sense. So this is our intercommissural view here in gray. And just please note that the degrees vary between people, body habitus, and orientation of the heart. So here it's a 45, other times you may get it from 40 to 80. So in this view, 
we have the left atrial appendage. And the first thing we have, the most lateral aspect is P1. Then we lose this part of the posterior leaflet because as we said, the posterior leaflet is crescent shaped. And the part of this anterior leaflet comes to view. And this would be A2 followed by the final cut at P3. Now, furthermore, off of our intercommissural view here, we can explain and get our anteroposterior view approximately at 120 degrees. Now, let's take a look at this schematic to see if it makes sense. So here is our intercommissural view. And as we said, the angles vary. And a X-plane view would be perpendicular to this and represent the anterior posterior coaptation, which would be A2, P2. And here we are with our intercommissural X-plane view. And we can see that the jet is mainly central as was suggested by the original live 3D view. In summary, we have two very useful views. The live 3D view, which when we orient in the surgeon's view, we have our left atrial appendage to our left followed by A1, P1, A2, P2, A3, P3. And with color Doppler, we can easily localize where the pathology is for mitral regurgitation and relay this to the surgeon or interventional cardiologist. Furthermore, we can use our undecommissural view where the most lateral aspect is the left atrial appendage followed by P1 with A2 in the middle and P3 being the most medial leaflet. This intercommissural view can help us localize the mitral pathology very quickly, easily, and accurately. I hope you found this video both informative and enjoyable. If so, like us and subscribe to our channel.